In everyday driving, it's normal for transverse forces to arise. But when you drive a bit too fast or turn the steering wheel, these forces can negatively affect road holding. But the Electronic Stability Program ESP nips that in the bud by controlling the brakes, if necessary the engine, and if need be the transmission as well. ESP comprises the following components. A speed sensor on each wheel. The rotation rate sensor measures the car's rotation around its vertical axis. The steering angle sensor registers the driver's steering intention. From the sensor signals, the control unit computes when and how it has to intervene. The hydraulic unit builds up and reduces the braking pressure in the brakes. What happens during the first steering maneuver? The driver has to swerve quickly to the left. The steering angle sensor transmits this to the ESP control unit. But the rotation rate sensor signals that the car is understeering, that is, it's drifting straight ahead towards the obstacle. In split seconds, ESP breaks the left rear wheel very briefly and sharply. This produces the desired counteracting force so that the car responds as the driver intended. What happens when you react? When you pull the wheel over to keep the car in the left lane after avoiding the obstacle, the car tends to oversteer and the rear end tends to break away to the left. The torque to the right is higher than the driver wants. In this case, ESP breaks the left front wheel. The torque is reduced. Instead of going into a skid, the car stays on course, thanks to ESP.